one of them bees, Pat? What's that? He might settle on Hank and wake him. He's lazy and a toe to hibernate. He ain't lazy. Just been laying so long, he's too tired to get up. Bobby, two of them. Anybody got some tobacco wrappings? Y'all be some reading paper. Why, that there be that bush hiding Cooper, the revenue. What am all these lines you mean, Cindy? You know, I'm saying that this revenue is going to bust up all our stills, like it be a duel in other places. Well, I'm going to stick this up here where Snuffy can see it. I always did want a hog stick of revenue. Snuffy sure ain't giving them revenue is no comfort. Recollect the time he put a hornet's nest in Cooper's car? There was a sting in him, leaves as speckled as a guinea egg. Them revenues are just a pining to get their hands on Snuffy. You ain't needin' to be a frettin'. They's just shadow hunting when they's a looking for Snuffy. Cause he'd be up far on the point of eagle eye in a mouth. Mr. Carson. Yeah, sure, discombobulating. Coming here, a chop licking, and a taking my dream away. Just when I was gonna shoot me that revenue. Three calls, revenues. Wilson, Wilson, you hit me right in the face with that. I'm sorry, Chief. Careful, you go no. first. All right, all right. Come on, now, let's go. Hey, Wilson. Oh, Wilson, come here. You know you're a very nice guy, and I like you very much, and you're very polite. But if you hit me in the back with another branch again today, I'm going to break every bone in your body! Quiet, quiet. They might hear us. You've been trying to catch that little fella for months. What's the hurry now? Hey, I gotta catch him today. Uncle Sam wants me on another job tomorrow. Cooper, uh, uh, why do you hate that little mountaineer? Now, look, I don't hate him, but I should. He's been making a monkey out of me for months. Not only that, but he's ruined my record with the boss. <sighs> Quiet. Come on, there's yours. Snuffy, don't be a throwing lead till you know you can't miss. I hate to be a spy in store bought clothes, but I gotta stop that revenue. They're shooting cats. This is the last straw. Let them have it, boys.
What happened, boss? Oh, they ain't fighting fair. They're shooting hard way. Get this off my neck. Get it off. Get it off. Oh. That was the only gun I ever seen that would kill him and bury him at the same time. When that thing echoes, you sure gonna spoil a heap of timber. <laughs> woman, quit stalling. What are ailing your paw? Bees in your breeches? Revenuers. Did they catch the steel? No, the bodacious idiots weren't even in smelling range. Well, I guess we lost them. What do we do now? Oh, no, we haven't. We'll let Snuffy's dog take us to his cabin. Come on, boy. Go on. You be out crossing these new revenuers, too. Don't ever be forgetting. They'll catch you. Was there a traveling peddler here while I be gone? No, they weren't. Somebody here be smoking foreign tobacco. Old Tom Elby's son were by. Don Elby? Why he come back? He be a lovesick man for Cindy. Balls of fire. If old Saul ever catches Don Elby, a love making to his Cindy, I'll be a killing. Why don't they be calling this feud off? They're tired, 1313. Yeah, not counting the hogs. And porks going up. This must be Snuffy's cabin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Carson, but I couldn't wait. You're too slow. Here, here's a nice piece of meat for you. Easy. There ain't one thing that'll take a man and a dog's appetite away, but a revenue. You wait here. Why Snuffy Smith? I wouldn't know him. Well, we saw him today. Hey, you be seeing my Snuffy? Yeah. Very he well. How does he look? Awful. Ah, uh, quit your stalling. Whose place is this? Us hill folks always set an extra place for people what gets lost. Uh. Take a seat in here, Papa. Oh. oh. Come on, crawl out of there, Smith. Hey, come on out or I'll start shooting. Oh, you won't, huh? He might bit you, but you ain't tasty. He gave me the slip. There's a hole under the bed. Well, he's not out here. Oh, I just saw that corn shock move. I know the liquor up here is potent, but don't tell me that the corn itself is strong enough to walk. Don't tell me I didn't see it move that time. Gardenia. Don Elby, I 
I should be glad to see you. But you had not to be coming here. I had to see you today because I have to be back at camp tonight. Gosh, honey, you're pretty as a red bird. You're plum scrumptious too, Don. Are you a, a general? No, I just a buck private, Cindy. What's in love with you? That's the way I'd be a feeling too. I wish your pa favored me. He won't be doing that till the feuding's over. Hey, by the way, where is he? I'd be a leaving him a god in the liquor still. One of them new revenue has been pestering around. You suppose he'll feel different about us now that I'm in the army? Oh, ain't he can what you be a doing? If he be seeing an Elby, and you're an Elby, he be a shooting. Yeah, maybe. But he can't keep me from loving you. That be nice word making. After you done seen all them powdered city women. What you be a having in the package? Well, that's the range finder that I made in technical school. Oh, that here weird looking. What's it? With this, you can shoot a cannon as straight as you can a squirrel well, gun. Why you be a taking it? I'm taking it to the army. And honey, when they buy it, we'll get married. And I'll dress you up like a peach tree in bloom. Will ya? Maybe a long time. Oh, uh, that ain't no matter. I'm still a, a hankering for you. For you? Since when you becoming a revenue? A revenue? This is the army uniform. Well, I thought you was another revenue. They be up at my cabin. I'll be coming here to hide. Hey, uh, who the army be a feuding? Ain't been no Indians in these parts for more than fifty years. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not fighting Indians. I enlisted to help Uncle Sam. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Gold buttons. I bet they'd be a cost in your heap. Oh, no, the government gives them to you. Mm. Ooh, khaki breeches, too. Yeah. Are they working you hard? Are you, are you getting your victuals? No, the government gives you all you can eat, and they let you sleep all the time. A place to bed, good victuals, gold buttons, khaki breeches, and... Are you getting your smokings? No, but they pay you 30 a month, and you can buy them. Snuffy, I bet they'd be needing you up at the still. Nope. So they're standing by, I hopes. <laughs> You'll be the first LB I ever seed alive in Saul's cabin. <laughs> you ain't living long. Be a lower in your gun, Saul. Don are coming to take me to the army. You be going alone, because I'm sending him to the graveyard. The attack maker, Don! Time's wasted! Come on, get in, Snuffy. I'll drive you home. No, I can't be going home. The revenue is a guard in my house. Who in the soul be a hiding me out? No, still mad at me. But jeepers, I'm a joining the army with you. Audacious idiot. I'll be a bouncing a raffle ball off your pumpkin head. Why can't I get in there? Now, look, I've been telling you for a week. I can't let you in this army camp. Well, who do I have to see to get in there? 
Oh, go see the general. Well, I've been over there. Now, that. come on, get out of the way. Yes, yes, yes. This is General Rosewater speaking. Hi, General. Take a seat. I'm hearing you're needing some good uh, shooting men for the army. I'm being the best squirrel shooter in the new United States. Uh, and me and old Tombstone will be a fight in your war. And all I'm asking is uh, a place to bed, vittles, gold buttons, $30 a month, and khaki breeches. How did you get in here? Call the guard! Sergeant of the guard! Off to the knee! Smith. Friend of yours, eh, Sergeant? Well, not exactly. I'll get in here. I... So you let him in. Well, get him out of here. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Come on. Stay out. Bounce this off your pumpkin head, then I'm going home. General. Where's that little civilian? The one that went through my legs, he run down the road. Take a detail and find him and bring him back to me. Yes, sir. And don't come back without him. your rifle gun, Dan, you'd have got into that army. Pa, be you busting up my paddle for kindling wood? Sure I'll be. I'll be learning you to keep kindling cut. Part of it's gone. you're doing? I just be a soap sir, and it whoop. Well, get on with your soap making and leave me be. Look, some evil spirits and drink up my soft soap. Now, easy. You'll be giving me more trouble than the revenuers. Hey, you be sure you're making it like you always be? Uh-huh. I'm a putting it in the pot and it ain't. I'm a putting it in the water and it is. It be spirits you should be having. It ain't nothing at all but hog fat and lie. What you done you ain't been doing afore? I was stirring it with your great great grandpappy's wooden leg. No, oh, well, made a cocoa bowl of wood. What it be? Disappearing in the soap. Can I be getting another one? How? Grandpappy got that when he were a pirate with Captain Kidd. 
And I do be hearing that the sea done swallowed up Coca-Cola Island. And ain't no more like it. Ain't he got a Sunday lay? Oh, they buried him in that one. Why? Thou is he. I'll be disappearing the still. Peyton like. Be a saving every drop of it. Again, Revenue? Never mind that. Where's Snuffy? I wouldn't be known. Take a look under the bed. Ah, uh, my house is a bit upset. It being worse day. Hey, you're gonna shoot me, Mr. Army Man. Cause I got my burying place all picked out. Up there. I got orders to return you to the commanding general of the 10th Army Corps. <laughs> oh, low easy, quit puddling up and making yourself a weakling. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Carson. Wait a minute, you're not taking that dog with you. Well, any place I go, that dog goes. This is one place you're going that that dog's not going. I'll be a-putting him in the house. Come on, Mr. Carson. And leave the door open. Fetch me a jug of drinking liquor. Get back here. Come here, Mr. Carson. Come here. And you'll be doing a blackout. I air covering you with spirit juice. <laughs> Goodbye, Louise. Be remembering me as I am. <laughs> Mr. Carson. a month for my smokings. You still want to get into the army, eh? You sure I understand it. <coughs> oh, General, uh, would you be having a gurgle of corn drippings? Corn drippings? Yeah. It were coming from old steel. Liquor? Never touched it in my life. It's not allowed around here. Well, w would you be having a chore eating tobacco? No, thank you. Uh, Mr. Smith, would you mind taking your feet off my desk? <laughs> I'll be a-doing it. But I think's better with them over my head. Hmm. Now, how about them khaki breeches? You're a little short for the army. Now, if there's something else that... Uh, uh... General, why well, be coming from folks be a-keeping their promises? Hmm. 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 You 
so sudden you done scared me. Somewhere in regulations of the classification would permit you to wear a uniform. But the pay is only $21 a month. Do I still be getting my khaki breeches? $21 a month and khaki breeches. General, you got yourself a, a soldier. Mm. <laughs> Just a moment. Yes, sir. I'm sending over Stubby Smith. And lift him under special classification Z. B as in Barracks? No. Z as in Zanuck. All right, Smith. Report to the quartermaster for your uh, <clears throat> khaki britches. General, with me helping you, things are going to be a changing. Two heads all a swore better than one. Mm, mm, yes. Yardbird, huh? You're not working for the general, you're working for me. But the general... Never mind about the general. I'm giving orders around here. I'm running this place. Nobody can tell me anything. Attention! Suck in your stomach. Throw out your chest. Put your heels together, Stolo. That's the way to be a soldier. <laughs> Just a minute. You've been assigned to my company. From now on, you take orders from Sergeant Cooper. Do you understand? Balls of fire. Taking orders from a revenue. Now go find yourself a cop and report to the company kitchen. Why, be? Just follow your nose across the street. Are you coming, Mr. Carson? Oh, did I step on your paw? Come on, fuzzy tail. Uh, uh. Snuffy, I thought you were still on kitchen police. I do be, but I'm bedding up for a spell before I be mess-making. Still manicuring those potatoes? I've been doing that for a flock of days. But I ain't doing a woman's work no more. You better not let Cooper catch you here. Cooper? That bodacious idiot there a lunkhead. Hey, what are you doing here? I'll be a rest taken. Now, look, Yardbird Smith, I've tried to be nice to you. I've tried to cooperate with you. But if I catch you a rest taken again, I'm going to throw you in the guardhouse! You're coming, Mr. Carson. My mother told me there'd be days like this. Looks like a rangefinder. Yeah, it's an improved rangefinder. One I perfected in college. What's different about it? Well, it's automatic. You focus the two prisms on a given point, and by turning the adjusting screws until the images are superimposed, you get an automatic reading in yards on the scale without any mathematical figuring. Hmm, that makes sense. You done anything with it? Hmm. Can't even get anyone to look at it. Well, if it's as good as you say it is, I'll take it to the general for you. Do you think he'll be interested? He's interested in anything that'll help him win those maneuvers from General Hopkins. Who's General Hopkins? Well, General Hopkins is the commander of the Blue Army. He's an old campaigner. Well, our general has fought all these battles from a swivel chair <laughs> with blueprints. <laughs> well, if accurate artillery fire will help him win, this rangefinder will do it. You know, this is his first chance to prove his theories with real soldiers and actual maneuvers. Say, if it does work, do you think he'll submit it to Washington? Submit it? Well, he'd take it there himself. Say, if the White Army wins and the general can submit a proven rangefinder, boy, he'll retire happy. Here she is, Sarge. Focus it on an objective. Did you pick out a target? 
I certainly did. Why don't we see the general? Look, soldier. These hammocks are reserved for officers. I have been an officer. I'm a yard bird. Get going. Oh, swow. Why, now that'll teach you a lesson. That'll... Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. What's the meaning of this, Sergeant Cooper? Oh, I didn't mean it, sir. I'm sorry. That's no excuse. No, sir. We vote to my quarters at 3 o'clock. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Can I be a help in your revenue? <laughs> Rangefinder is uh, correct in theory. Needs an actual field test to prove it. Well, why don't you try it at maneuver, sir? It's a good suggestion. Maybe just what I need to defeat General Hopkins. The old fox. <laughs> <laughs> you take charge of it, Sergeant. Watch it carefully. I'll call for it later. It'll be all. Very good, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, thank you, Sergeant. I wish to compliment you on the high morale of your company. Oh. Men from all the other outfits are trying to be transferred to yours. To what do you attribute that? Well, General, my theory has always been that an army travels on its stomach. Mm. And I personally see to it that my kitchen crew makes them happy. Very interesting. Let's go down and inspect your kitchen. Now? Certainly now. Oh, but, uh... No buts. Come, Sergeant. Oh, General! General! <laughs> Send out the call for soldier boys, especially to defend our country with the rich to tea. It seems their chance to be in the hills of Tennessee. A loyal lad whose call a name was Smith. Since Nuffy Smith joined up, he's now a yard bird. A little guy, but my, he's such a hard bird. Don't ever get yourself mixed up with Snuffy in a tip. Or you may find you're being flung bodaciously off on the cliff. If you should see a pretty face with naught behind it. She's wasting time with Snuffy, so I heard. Now 30 bucks is riches when you're wearing khaki britches. Array, array for Snuffy Smith, the yard bird. Since Snuffy Smith joined up, he's now a yard bird. And balls of fire, cousin, he's a card bird. The general and the sergeant and the other guys with braids are apt to have a rifle ball bounce off on their pumpkin heads. Even a varmint's eyes bug out like trumped on tug frogs. The shiftless gonks emotion stuffy stirred. He ain't one of our flunkies, he's the captain of our donkeys. Hooray, hooray for Stuffy Smith, the yard bird. Since Stuffy Smith joined up, he's now a yard bird. When evening rolls around, he's sure a tall. Hard bird. You'd think he'd hit the hay and rest, but he's in town because he seed a gal with pretty eyeballs and such rosy jaws. Whether you hype the door when brains was passed out, no, sir. He signs the finest X, but mum's the word. I swow he will be fated. Don't be discombobulated. Hooray, hooray for Stubby Smith, the yard. Hooray. What is this? It's a still, General. I'm just cooking up another batch of corn drippings. Another batch? Yeah. They'd be drinking it faster than I can make it. So this is what goes on in your company, eh? Oh, well, I didn't know. It's your business to know. Uh, yes, sir. I put Yardbird in your charge. Yes, sir. Take him out and make a soldier of him. Uh, yes, sir. Oh. oh, get out of here. Get out of here. The boy's gonna be powerful sorry without their liquor. Get out of here. Give me that. Get out of here. Think I'll pass for a soldier? I don't know. That salute's pretty phony. I'll get by. Well, you'd better. If you're caught impersonating a soldier, 20 years. Look, it's worth the risk if we get that rangefinder. Well, I talked to the hillbilly and I talked to Cooper. You know, shorts in Cooper's office? Well, he's got it. Where else could it be? I'll get it. See you when I get back. 
Keep your eye on those civvies. Okay. Undoubtedly, gentlemen, you understand how much these maneuvers mean to me. As to when and where we hold them is up to Washington. Whether we win will depend a lot on the type of country we operate in. Upon what do you base your theory? The Blue Army has twice as many tanks as we have. Yes, but we offset that with artillery. And incidentally, one of the men has perfected a rangefinder, which looks like a great improvement over the present one. Well, how does it differ? It has an automatic range calculator. I'd certainly like to see that. I know you would. I've sent for it. With a tank moving at 35 miles an hour, you can see how important automatic range calculation would be. Yes? Sergeant Cooper reporting with a range finder, sir. Send him in. Put it right over there, Sergeant. Gentlemen, the new General Rosewater range finder. When you have this, you practically have the range. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, oh, uh, it was here, it was here the last time I saw it. What does this mean? Oh, I can't help it. Son, yes. unless you have that rangefinder to maneuvers, you'll be court-martialed for negligence, <laughs> insubordination, <laughs> and conduct unbecoming a soldier. Is that all, sir? Yes, and sabotage. Oh. Pack that stuff and get out of here. Yes, sir, I'm going, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Cancel all leads and close the gate. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I'm sure they'll locate the rangefinder. Now as to the maneuvers. I don't know what the strategy board will decide, but I'm in favor of holding the maneuvers in the Ozark Mountains. The water is pure, the weather is ideal, and it's rough country. Water? Mountains? Rough country? That air sound in a heap like hoot and holler. And again I say... Now, just a minute, General. If you are looking for rough country and fitting weather, the Great Smokies be it. What's the meaning of this, Yardbird Smith? Now, don't be a-stopping me. That am a home place. I know every bend and crook in that river and every hollow what's got a still in it. Yardbird Smith, attention! Oh, don't be so bossy. You're like my grandpappy all the time of giving words. Snobby, you've exhausted my patience. I've done everything possible to make a soldier out of you, but you'll never make it. I'm a coming down here and you're sending me home. You're sending men up to fotching me back. You put me in the kitchen and then you chuck me out. You put me in khaki breeches for a saving your life. Be this a nice way to treat a hero? You know where I'm coming from, a man I know by his word because they can't write. But I'm forgiving you everything. I'm still your friend. And if you ever be in need me, just be sending me three calls to the whippoorwill. Oh, where do you think you're going? Going uptown. That's what you think. All leaves are canceled. Time.
is a waste. What are we waiting for? Let's make haste and don't get this soldier sore. I'll bounce a rifle ball off every punk and hated critter. Got me mad, I'm getting madder. Give me my gun, my jaw, the liquor. Time's a wasting. Hear the bugle call. Let's make haste and get spark plug from his stall. Cause if we hitch him too low easy, we can lick the varmints easy. Time's a wasting. What are we waiting for? Let's go over to B Company. We ain't appreciated round here. I done been working like killing snakes. And a general ain't our friend no more. That rain barrel Cooper, all us a boss in a body. All right, Mr. Carson. Ted. <laughs> You know, $21 and khaki breeches are all right, but I'm a hankering to look into your big brown eyeballs again, partner. Yes, sir. <laughs> Trying to make friends with Mr. Carson? Who's Mr. Carson? Here, yeah, my dog. Here, yeah, right here. Mr. Carson, be a speaking to him. <laughs> Mr. Carson, jump up on him. Now look, now look, if you think you can kid me. Us are going back home to Louisi, Mr. Carson. Hello, Shorty. Hello. Going someplace? I'll be a going home. Where do you live? I live in Hooten Hollow in the Great Smoky Mountains. They won't let you out. The gates are locked. I've been a getting away from revenues all my life. Ain't no soldier what can stop me now. How are you going to do it? That air be in my business. Take me with you, will you? No, I ain't a hankering to help no soldier. Traveling there like hunting. You'd be better off alone. Ah, cheapers. I near forgot my jug. Where is it? That air be none of your business. All right, Shorty, I'll roll your pack for you. Sure, my khaki breeches are in there, soldier? They sure are. Say, uh, how are you going to get to Hoot and Holler? I'm a walking down till I come to the end of the road. I'm a turning into a wagon road, and I'm just keeping walking till I get there. Are you sure you're going? I'm going as far away from this army as I can get. And when I get there, I'm a staying. Listen now and get this straight. I can't get out. But I put the range finder in Snuffy Smith's pack. He's walking down the main road leading to Hooten Holler. Hooten Holler. Pick him up in the car and get that pack. to tell me that you can't locate that rangefinder? Yes, sir. I've turned the place inside out, sir. What else can happen? I brought the games for the Ozarks, and the War Department puts them in the Great Smokies, and you lost the rangefinder. Yes, sir. It's a fine finish for me. Yes, sir. Yardbird Smith knows that country. Send him to me. You send him home, sir. It's the last straw. You don't need Yardbird Smith. I was a revenue officer in that country. Really? I've chased Yardbird Smith all through those mountains. Did you ever catch him? Yeah. Uh, no, sir. I still want Yardbird Smith. You want me to get him? Yes, sir. Well, 
that'll be all, sir. Oh! <laughs> Be caring if I do. Dead end. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Aren't you going to take that pack off? No. You'd be much more comfortable without it. It had just like leaning my back up against a tree. Oh, come on, beautiful. Take that pack off. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't. Please don't. Don't miss it. <laughs> Quit the army like you uh, quit work in the field? No, it was just like crawling out of the jailhouse. How come? Well, they got some robbers there, what the army calls filth calmness. And they done locked the gates for to catch them. Why don't you be hunting and shooting them? They be looking like ordinary folks. You might even be snuff dipping with one of the vomits and not be knowing it. <laughs> Mr. Carson, appears to me like you've been ghosting around long enough. Appears like Mr. Carson done take on a little weight. <laughs> What that be? This is a very strategic spot. Who's in position directly below now, Belbo? Company A, Captain Robinson commanding, sir. No rangefinder. Stupid sergeant. Smokies instead of the Ozarks. No yard bird. Lieutenant, can you whip or will? Can I whip or what, sir? <laughs> oh, you know, uh, That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Lieutenant, you go all through these hills and keep repeating that call as loud as you can until further orders. Have Captain Robinson report to me and assemble my staff. Yes, sir. and a raffle ball off their pumpkin head. Why, that blue army be? Just a minute, Jared Bird. You can't use that gun. We're not shooting real bullets. Well, if I can't be a ledge bit, I ain't a fight. Come, come, Snuffy. I'm counting on you to be my chief scout. 
Well, I'll be hiding old tombstone under the bay. I want to see Captain Robinson. The umpire has declared all the officers of Company A out of action. I am the company commander. You are the company commander? Yes, sir. That's all the far. Yardbird. I've appointed Yardbird Smith my chief scout. He knows this country better than anybody else. You'll take your orders from him. Oh. Wait here. I have some special instructions for you. Now, Matt, you understand the rules. Any object hit with flour is out of action. All decisions made by the umpire are final. If you're hit with flour, you're officially dead. And when you're dead, you're dead. Audacious agents. General Rosewater, killed in action at 8.50. I know, now here's the... Uh-huh. What were those special instructions? Look, I'm dead and I can't say a thing. If I were alive, I'd say one thing. If the White Army could hold the top of that hill, they'd win the maneuvers. You want us to be going up low? I can't answer that. I'm dead. Yeah, that's what he means. Well, if you're dead, why ain't you laying down? Oh, look. When you're hit with flour, you're dead. The general was hit with flour, and he's dead, and he can't do a thing. He can't? No. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. He's not that dead. Put it back. Come on, Rain Barrel. Tom's a wasted. You forget something? Uh, you're dead. Don, be a letter writing that his invention was stolen. Who be a take it? A varmint would have been called a, a fifth columnist. Jumpin' jaybirds. That be what Snuffy be a talking about. <laughs> What's the matter now? I near did be forgetting. I can't take you up on the knob. Why not? Uh, you still a revenue or inside. Oh, but things are different now. I'm in the army. If I be taking you up, you'd be knowing the way. You come back and make trouble for my friends. You want the general to win, don't you? Sure, he's my friend. Well, the general can't win unless he gets to the top of that hill. Oh, I was thinking of Saul and the boys. Look, I'll make you a proposition. Take me to the top of that hill. I'll let all your friends go free. Providing you break the still. All right, but I'll be doing it for the general. Hey, you fellas over there! That was close. Ain't you been a telling me all the time them was wax rifle balls they've been a using? What you afraid of? Say, if those were wax bullets, the bees must have been eating concrete. That our being Saul and the boys are shooting at us. They think we're revenuers. And they're using real bullets, too. Yeah. They think us revenuers. They not knowing about the maneuvers. Hey, now, look it. You're being a friend of the general uh, who said you could get us up there. Now, go on, get us up there. Ain't nobody what can get up there uh, wearing khaki breeches. Well, come here. Talk it over. Tell your men the Blue Army's objective is to capture Nob Elbow before the White Army occupies it. Spread out, man. Somebody's using real bullets. Oh, so far, you shoot this ghost. Can't you see it's me? What do you mean, mean in bringing them revenuers up here? Them ain't revenuers, them's new United States soldiers. They still be government men. New United States soldiers ain't revenuers. The soldiers be a shooting at the revenuers with the blue rags on their arms. You'll be a meaning the blue rags is revenuers? Yeah, and we's a trying to keep them away from the still. <laughs> a mess of them blue rags. You want my friends to help you? We be a needing them, but we're about out of rifle balls. Well, stop fretting. Can't you see they sit fotching up a heap of rifle balls and fancy shooting arms? I be a knowing he's a revenue. Mm -hmm. He was, but he's seen the light. He's a plumb changed character. Why, well, you going to help us fuck the blue rags? Oh, sure am. I mean, I sure am. Don, be a letter telling that Snuffy be acting Taged. 
What'd he be doing? He'd be a talking to and defeating Mr. Carson when Mr. Carson won't talk. <laughs> he wanted to have a day wanted to see in him. I'll be telling you the secret if you promise you won't tell Snuffy. I'm a promising. There be Mr. Carson. There be the joke. Snuffy Smith. He'd be out there with his friend, the general. Well, here's the pack where I put the rangefinder, Janie. You leave that be. That air be Snuffy. Oh, no, you don't. Miss Carson, be a meat talk. <laughs> what is this? I told you there was a dog. <laughs> It'd be dogs and vengeance. You'd be one of them filth cowmas my Snuffy be a talking about. I'm going to take you two filthy stumps to my man. Get going. Get! Range 2600. You missed, Sergeant. Range 2100. Sergeant. <coughs> you missed, Sergeant. Suicide. Mr. Soldier, you be tell me where my snuffy be. I'm sorry, madam, but I'm dead. Whose ghost do you be? Look, General, this old gal's batty. I'm taking these two filth columns to my snuffy. What have they done? They be taking Don's invention. I think it's too late, but if I weren't dead, I'd say they're on top of that peak. What you please, mister? Be a track maker. Hey, Dave, you just hide. Come along. We're practically surrounded by the Blue Army. What a spot for my range finder. Anything would help. You've only got two hits so far. Mm, oh, I hate umpires. This year army gun ain't no good. I put a beat on them and they ain't a pull. Them. So I know I was a beating them.
Strike ten. Range eight twenty five. Range eight twenty five. to reorganize Blue Army due to accuracy of artillery fire from Knob Elbow. Hey, what you doing to my friend, the General? Why, well, Weezy, he be helping me bring in these two filth combs. He be trying to take my khaki breeches. Take him away. You'd be very proud of your wife. I do be. She's worth her weight in hog livers. <laughs> you were right about that rangefinder. I'll send a complete report to the War Department. Thank you, sir. Mm. I know you'd win the war. Gosh, honey. Two hundred feet. Was well, that far thing of telling what aim the gun? Yeah. LB. The few day off. Ha, 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 ha. 